Hey guys, good morning and welcome to today's vlog. So today is South Dakota trip day one and it's currently 5.41 Friday the 16th. Um, I have all my bags packed up right here and um, I'm about to leave. But first I have to do a few things in the bathroom, but I'm just gonna end the intro here because we gotta go. Okay, so we're at Runza for a little lunch stop. Um, I got a cheeseburger, like a kid's cheeseburger, just plain, and fries um, in the car. I edited a whole video, so that will be up soon. And then I also just like listened to music and took a nap. So that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so we finally made it to South Dakota and now we're at Reptile Garden. So we're gonna see some alligators some snakes, some, all of the reptiles, so, yeah. That alligator or crocodile or whatever it was, was the biggest one in captivity. to go watch an alligator show. Here's the crocodiles, the caiman, and the gharial. We've got three of the four types in here. The vast majority of these guys are American alligators. You'll notice that their heads are rectangular or square in shape. They got the U-shaped nose. They've got a couple of crocodiles in here. There's a big African slender static crocodile here. There's a, a Nile crocodile over here. There's one, excuse me, Charlie. There's one right here. You'll notice that their heads are triangular, kind of like an arrowhead. They've got that V-shaped nose. Difference in head shape is probably the easiest way to distinguish between an alligator and a typical crocodile. They're comparatively slow animals when it comes to running, but they are amazingly fast at striking. And possibly I can demonstrate just how fast they can move. And while we're at it, I'll demonstrate how these guys are fed as well. Perhaps you've heard that a person with moderately strong hands could hold an alligator's mouth shut. I won't go as far as to say that you could hold the world's largest alligator's mouth shut. Nobody's got hands that big. But I can say with confidence that the average person has sufficient strength in their hands to overpower the muscles that open the jaws of a six or seven foot alligator. The only problem is that alligator might not want to cooperate. You might not hold still long enough for you to reach down, grab his mouth, and hold it shut. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, now that I have a volunteer, we have to get on his back. Oh. We'll do this by dragging. <laughs> Just gotta walk your alligator first. We gotta drag him by his tail to get his head in line with his body. And next we gotta jump on his back. That's a happy noise, right? <laughs> jump. We land with our hands on his neck, oh. knees into his armpits, and feet turned in behind his hind legs. This will keep the alligator from backing out underneath me. Next, we have to get a grip on those big, powerful jaws. Notice you can't see down his throat. This is because the back of his tongue acts as a valve. It permits him to open his mouth underwater without taking in water. Oh, you look hungry, you come see me. It made art. It made art. Did you do this? Okay, so the show is over now, and it was pretty good. The guy, like, I thought he was going to get eaten by an alligator, but then we looked at some birds, and now we're leaving. So we're going to the hotel, and then we'll go to dinner, and I'll film all of that, of course. It's a baby groundhog or prairie dog. Okay, oh, my thumb's in the way. Okay, so we made it to the hotel, and now we're walking to our room now. The hotel looks really nice. 
and it's like wooden. Ooh, look at the lobby. This is what the lobby looks like. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished dinner. It was really good. I give it a 10 out of 10. And now we're gonna go do some souvenir shopping and like just go around this town a little bit. Okay, so we're at this candy shop. I got some peanut butter chocolate fudge and then cookie dough ice cream. Okay, so we're gonna try this fudge. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Okay, good morning. Welcome to day two. I'm getting ready right now. Um, I already put on my skincare deodorant and cologne, but now I need to brush my teeth. I'm using this toothbrush for the first time, but today we're going to Bear Country, Mount Rushmore, and then like the Alpine Slides. It's like a venture trail thing, which should be fun. And of course I'll take you guys with filming like daily short little vlogs on TikTok. So if you haven't checked out my TikTok, definitely do that. It's pretty chilly today and it was chilly tomorrow. So we kind of went when it's like chillier, which is kind of nice to get a break from like hot days in Nebraska, but um, yeah. So I'm just probably gonna throw on my Lululemon scuba today because I didn't really bring a sweatshirt for today, but I did bring a sweatshirt for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna put in my contacts because I haven't done that in like a while. Whoa, those came out fast. Okay, now the contacts are in. I have to let them sit out. It's like poking me, but anyways, we're done getting ready i'll show you my outfit i'll do a little outfit of the day and then we're going to bear country first i think okay i'll film my outfit of the day out here but basically i'm just wearing these blue linen uh, shorts and then this white shirt and then um this uh blue linen scuba stopped in Mount Rushmore first and then we'll go to bear country but it's so beautiful out I took my hoodie off so and just enjoyed the view we just went to a museum of Mount Rushmore and it told us about the workers and how they carved it and the tools they used and all that okay so we're done with Mount Rushmore I got this I just wanted to take a little moment and say that little stinky girl and her stinky mother gave me the dirtiest looks ever. They were like walking past me and I was like, can I help you? Anyways, we're done with Mount Rushmore. I got this sticker and now we're going to Bear Country. dinner now hello and good morning everyone so it's day three and we're at crazy horse so today um i don't really know the plan but i know we're going to crazy horse
Okay, so we're done with Crazy Horse and now we're in this little town and we're doing some souvenir shopping. I can't really find anything because it's like kind of weird stuff, but I'll keep you posted. I'm currently standing on my bed to film this, but anyways, I forgot to update you guys when I was there, but that was the last day. After lunch, we like hanged out at the hotel, then we ordered pizza, and then I like packed up. So day three was like pretty chill, but in all, the trip was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some clips from it. I didn't film everything. Well, I must fell. I didn't film everything, but I filmed most of the things that I did, but I'll see you next time. Bye.